Hello, this is Caleb with App Design Tips, and in this video, I'm going to show you the interface. When you open XD for the first time, you see a really clean interface. On the left side, we have tools, assets, and layers. And in the tools panel, we have a nice little selection tool. We can create rectangles, ellipses, lines, and we can also create custom shapes with the pen tool. And then we have the text tool, the artboard tool for creating new artboards, and the zoom tool. Near the bottom, we have the assets panel, which we'll talk about a little bit more later. And then we have the layers symbol, and this will open up the layers panel. Now we can actually see our very first layer in the layers panel, and this is the iPhone 6 artboard. And that's because this is the only object that we have in the project right now or in the canvas. So we can actually rename this layer here and it will rename the artboard also. In the very top left of the window we have a design tab and a prototype tab. Now when you click on prototype this is where you're going to add all of your interactions, the links to different artboards and show how they animate. You might notice in prototype that the tools panel is removed and also the properties panel over to the right is removed. That's because in this view they just want you to focus on prototyping. Now let's jump back into the design view so I can show you the remaining tools. Over to the top right we have a zoom feature to zoom in a certain percentage here. We have the preview icon that lets you set up uh, previewing on your mobile device. Now we also have this play or preview feature that will let you preview your prototype within a screen here. So whatever I put inside the artboard, for example, this is what's going to show in this preview window. And once you link it up, you will be able to see the animation and kind of how that prototype flows. And in the very top right corner, we have a share button. And this is just a way to share with your colleagues or stakeholders. And in this pop-up window, you can name your prototype that you're going to share. You can drag an icon in to display on the web or mobile device and then you can choose where you want to start your artboard. Now we only have one artboard here so it shows it's going to start at the iPhone 6 slash 7-1 artboard. Now if you leave this box checked for allow comments, what that does is just allows your colleagues or stakeholders to be able to comment on these shared prototypes and add ideas that will then be sent to your email. After you click create link, Adobe XD is going to give you a URL that you can share in an email, Slack, or whatever program you want. And then if you are sharing multiple versions or multiple links, you can click on the Manage Links button and it will show you each of the individual links that you've created. And you'll have the ability to delete those links or share them with other people. On the right side we have the Properties panel. And this panel is context sensitive, meaning whatever object that you are selecting or creating, there's going to be some properties in this panel that's going to apply specifically to that object. For example, I added this rectangle here, and if I click on this rectangle here, you'll be able to see the properties that I can edit. So we have the width and the height, we have the position and the appearance properties. So transparency, whether we want a radius, a fill, a border, and some other styling effects. We also have buttons in the properties panel for repeat grid, which we'll get to in a later video, and also for Boolean effects for being able to join layers together, subtract them, and other things. And this is also something that we're going to get to in a later video.